Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I am going to be reviewing NYX Cosmetics Fat Oil Lip Drip. If you are thinking about purchasing this product, watch to find out what you need to know before you buy. product at Ulta and it cost $9. Originally it had eight shades and then they added six more. This shade that I purchased is called Status Update and from the original eight it was the darkest shade. This lip oil gives high shine looks sans stickiness. It has an extra large applicator for easy smooth application leaving you with a glossy high shine finish. It is vegan and cruelty free. Here is the product. I am going to swatch this on my wrist here just to see the color. I also have the e.l.f. Glow Reviver lip oil here as well. And in just comparing the two, the NYX fat oil comes with 4.8 milliliters and the e.l.f. Glow Reviver lip oil comes with 7.6. So the e.l.f. one does come with more product. Okay, that is one, this is a one swatch of NYX's. I am just for comparison going to put some of the Glow Reviver lip oil here. There is the Glow Reviver lip oil. From just swatching, the NYX one looks much more pigmented, has a lot more product while the e.l.f. one is more sheer. Here's the wand. Hmm, this is a different smell. So many of my other products have smelled like vanilla, like a vanilla cupcake, and this one smells much more fruity. Doesn't smell like really strong, but it does have a fragrance and a scent to it. First, I'm gonna try it just without any other lip product and see how it looks. If I feel like it's very sheer, I might put on some other lip products and wear this over it, but let's see how it wears alone first. I don't think I'm going to need any other lip products. This is so much more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I mean, swatching it on the wrist, yeah, it did look much more pigmented than the e.l.f. lip oil, but I still thought it was going to apply kind of sheer, but definitely not. This is the darkest shade from their original eight. They did add some more. I think some of them could be darker than this. To me, it's kind of like a brown with a little bit of red in it. Not sticky at all. It feels really good on my lips. You can still smell that fruity smell, but it's not overpowering. Like other lip oils, it's not something that lasts, but what I really wanna test out is how drying this is going to be on my lips. I love the Glow Reviver lip oil because it keeps my lips moisturized throughout the day. I'm going to wear this throughout the day, give you guys a midday check-in, and then I will do the final check-in after wearing it for at least eight hours, and we'll let you guys know my final thoughts on this product. So I will see you guys in about four to five hours. It's been about four and a half hours since I initially applied, and you can see that there's nothing on my lips. It lasted pretty well without any eating or drinking, but after I ate some food, it all came off. So it doesn't last with eating or drinking, but it pretty much stayed on and stayed consistent before I started eating. So I am going to reapply at this halfway mark right now. I do want to say that my lips are on the dry side. I do have some cracking and peeling here on the edges of my bottom lip and I actually did prep with Aquaphor and all of that. My lips weren't that dry before applying this, but yes, it is much more drying to me than the e.l.f. Glow Reviver lip oil. reapplied. Let me go ahead and wear this for at least three and a half to four more hours and then I will come back and give you guys my final review on NYX's lip oil. I'll see you guys tonight.
So it has been nine hours since I initially applied the product. Again, the product has come off after eating and drinking and all of that, but let's get into my final review. It is affordable. $9 is a great price for a drugstore lip product. It's very pigmented. You get a lot of color payout from this product. It is not as sheer as some other lip oils are. The shade range is pretty good, especially with the new six shades that they added in addition to the original eight. I feel like there's a good variety of different shades to choose from. Though the formula was pigmented, like I mentioned, the shade that I purchased not appear to look like the shade that is advertised online. The one that is advertised online is much darker. I mean, it is the darkest shade of the original eight and mine was a lot lighter. There is a fruity scent to it. Now, it wasn't that strong, but if you're opposed to scents, then you may have an issue with this product. I think it gave a fair amount of shine. I wouldn't say it is super high shine. The worst part about it though is that it was drying. From my experience with e.l.f. Glow Reviver's lip oil, which is the only other lip oil that I have ever tried out, I thought lip oils were meant to be like moisturizing throughout the day because it is an oil. My lips right now are peeling on the bottom lip. For me, any lip product that really keeps my lips dry are just not something I would go for because my lips are pretty dry to begin with and I have to constantly use Aquaphor on them. Overall, I think the product was okay. In my opinion, I think Elf's Glow Reviver lip oil is much better. Even though this was more pigmented, the formula and how it worked on my lips was not as good because of the dryness. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I'd probably keep repurchasing the Glow Reviver lip oil until I try something new. Thank you guys so much for watching my review on NYX Cosmetics Fat Oil Lip Drip. If you want to follow me on all of my other social media, I'm at Jen Reviews on Facebook and on Instagram, and I'm at Jen Reviews underscore on TikTok. If you are looking for a certain product that I reviewed, I do separate my playlist by brand. So all you have to do is click on that brand and you can see all the products that I reviewed from them. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Do you think goodbye?